I, I think Congress should be very proud of its new record. Uh, joining me now, three of my favorite American voices, Lloyd Chapman, the American Small Business League president, Mark Simone, talk show host on WABC Radio, radio talk show host, Fox News contributor, co-host of The Five at Five on the Fox News channel, Monica Crowley. Thanks for being here. Hi, Lou. Uh, let's, start with, uh, let's start with that congressional approval rating, or disapproval, I don't know what you want, really want to call that. I, I mean, that's really devastating. 10% approval. I want to know who the 10% are because I'm surprised they're that high uh, after uh, their track record over the last couple of years. But certainly I think this is a direct result of the negotiations over the size of government, the spending levels of government, and the national debt. And what we have seen since, well, certainly since April with the continuing resolution debate and now with the debt ceiling debate, is that these guys can't get on the same page. Spending continues to explode and there's no long-term solution. Well, all of what Monica just said, Lloyd, is true. There's just one problem. There's no differentiation in that poll between Republicans and Democrats and their various policy differentiations. What do you make of it? Lloyd, can you hear me? Because you're, yeah, I, yeah, you're not, you're not yeah, reacting I, like you heard me. <laughs> <laughs> you're making me I, very I agree nervous, with Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I'm, not used to folks, I'm not used to folks, uh, you know, in, in thinking before they respond. I, <laughs> can you watch I'm sorry. That? <laughs> I, I'm getting old. I got to think about this stuff. I, I agree with Monica. Who are these 10% of people think they're doing a good job? Are they not watching television, not reading the newspaper? You know, um, I, I would think that the uh, Congress's approval rate would be like, you know, 0%. I mean, we've lost our AAA rating, the stock market's in chaos, you know, unemployment's still high. This country's going bankrupt. Well, what, so wait, wait, I, I now, can't believe I, it anybody. You got Congress at zero. What would you, what would you get President Obama then? Uh, less than zero. Oh, wow, Mark, four. you're a tough grader. <laughs> yes. Mark, how about well, you? you know, I mean, he, he's the leader. Well, he, he's our leader. It's his fault. Uh, he's certainly the president. Well, I can explain it. The 10% are all the lobbyists in America, which is actually probably 10% of our population, <laughs> 30 million people. <laughs> well, or, or beneficiaries of lobbyists. Right? Beneficiaries. Uh, it, it, it's just insane. If, if this is not doing a bad job, what, what, uh, what criteria do these people use? I, I, we've got to... <laughs> we're going to do something, and I want to get your reaction to this, because Polonius Monk... Uh, and I want to apologize in advance for the language he used that we had to remove. <laughs> and you're going to hear more beeps in a paragraph or so than you will have ever heard in your life. But he, Thelonious Monk, comedian, uh, gets to some really uh, important um, intellectual architecture here on the debt, on China, and what we call a government. Listen, if you will, to this. And this isn't personal. This isn't Democratic or Republican. This is everybody. Stop being a d balance the budget. My second question, though, my second issue is, how the f do you owe China, B? How do you owe China? How can I tell my daughter with a straight face that capitalism is a better system than communism if we're borrowing all of our f money from the biggest communist country on the f planet? You f get your own. I think Mr. Monk. Yes. Posed in direct language precisely the question that we, every American needs to ask himself and herself. What do you think the answer is? Yes. Well, the answer is that you've got to get the debt crisis under control because the, no, big, no, no. the bigger what question... No, no, no. What is the answer to... The, let me rephrase the question, the felonious monk, without the ancillary <laughs> so put verbiage. It. How is it that we're borrowing more money right. from a communist nation in right. order to stay afloat as the principal free enterprise capitalist yeah. nation on this, earth? This is, this and is how a, can we be in this situation? This is a perfect encapsulation of what the debt crisis is, right? But one of the great ironies here is that we have the Chinese communists lecturing the American capitalists about spending levels and debt. And you know what the irony, Lou, is that the Chinese are right. So how does an American parent, and I hope he doesn't use that language with his kids, I don't know how old they are, but how does an American parent then explain this to their children? It's all part of the broader narrative of American decline. And uh, Americans uh, are fighting that tooth and nail. Uh, I would like to see him on the super committee. That's Amen. <laughs> Well, Amen. I'm serious. We need somebody I am like too. That. And we need a real business That's a committee great idea. member. And we need a real citizen on that committee. John Kerry, all these uh, same you know, retreads yeah. that got Lord, you know, people, people talk about diversity all the time in this country. And racial diversity, ethnic diversity, religious diversity. How about some occupational diversity? How about some diversity of perspective? 
Absolutely. I love Obama's, uh, was it his jobs council of all the Fortune 500 corporations yeah. that have shipped millions of jobs overseas? I think yeah. GE was the head of it, and GE has shipped more jobs overseas than any other, any other country, or excuse me, any other uh, business in the nation. It's crazy. To China, you know, we, uh, by the way. Well, yeah, to yeah, countries to all over the world. Now, there is a positive yeah. note on all this. Uh, at least the communist country thinks the only safe place to park their money is in the U.S. And, and you know, with that positive note, we, we conclude. And Mark Simone, thanks. We can always count on you. And you're right. You're absolutely right. Lloyd, thank you very much, Monica. Thank okay. you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.